request. Now we are going to load the country's data using XML HTTP request like we are seeing on the browser. So let us start. As usual, I have index.html page and app.js. In HTML page, I have one container div and inside that I have a another division for countries and here we are going to render the country's data dynamically and in app.js I am just accessing the country's element this one and in app.css I have some CSS classes for styling purpose constant request equal to new XML HTTP request so here we just created the object of the XML HTTP request though XML HTTP request is old way of making Ajax calls it is very important to know how XML HTTP request works so that we know the importance of promises and even some of the applications still might be using XML HTTP request here we created the XML HTTP request object and here we need to use the method called open open and it accepts two parameters one is the type of method so here we are going to fetch the data so we need to use the method get and the second part is URL so the URL that we are going to hit I am going to use the public API go to the Google and search for public APIs GitHub provides so many public APIs you can see here and I am going to use the country's API so I just search for that you can see here rest countries here we can see the three fields like authentication HTTPS and CORS authentication by default no so we don't need to provide any authentication and again you can see that HTTPS is yes so it is secure car stands for cross origin resource sharing and the value should be S or unknown so we have unknown so we don't have any problem in accessing the API now click on the rest API services here you can see that all the available endpoints so endpoint is nothing but the URL you can see that whenever you want all the countries you can use this URL but we want to use this URL so that we can pass the country name and get the country details so just copy it and paste it here here we are opening the correction and using get method and the URL here instead of the name we pass let's say USA so now we open the connection and now it is time to send it so what send will do it will send the request and in the background the request will be processed and you can't assign this data request to any variable like this and use it because whenever we call the send method it going to hit it and it will be running on the background and whenever it is done then it will execute the load method of the XML HTTP request so we need to listen to the load event of XML HTTP request we know that using add event listener you can listen to the any event so request dot add event listener and a method name is load and it will take callback function function and here we will be receiving the data and that data will be available in the response text of the XML HTTP request so this dot response text so let's go and print it console.log now let us go and run it so right click open with the live server there we go 
We successfully made our first Ajax call using XML HTTP request. So we are printing here and the response text is string array of countries data and inside that we can see a object and where the name is United States of America and we can see all the data like population, region and sub-region. We have so much data here. So we are able to get the data using XML HTTP request. So here first we created the object then we open the connection and by mentioning the method and the URL or endpoint and then we send the request and after that we just listen to the load event which will be firing once the data is ready and we are able to get the data. Let's say if we go and print this one before listening to the load event instead of this we need to use the request so request dot response data so because this in the callback function is equal to the request here so now let's go and see here we can see that nothing is there it is empty if you refresh you can see that app dot js line number six we have empty so we are printing here but we don't have anything here so the response will be available in the callback function of load event. Now we successfully got the data and it's time to render it on the UI. So just close it. I am going to assign it data equal to. We got the data in string format. We need to convert it into the JavaScript object. So you can use JSON dot parse of this dot response console dot log data we can see that now array of objects and with zeroth object we have all this data it is array of object but we need only the first element so what i do i just take the first element so we can do it in a two ways like we can do like this because it will give the zeroth element from the array which means the zeroth element is this one and of course it is having only one element so it directly gives this object otherwise you can use the e6 way like this so it will restructure the array and it will assign the first element to the data now if you go and save and print here you can see that directly first object let us create a html that is required to render the country card let html equal to you can give any name i'm just giving that and i'm using the ticks i have already created some html so i just copy paste it to save the time here we got the data so now our data is having the you know country details like country flag and you know country languages and currencies everything so first let us print the country name so what is the property that we can use you can use the name property use here how to use you can use the dollar symbol and these brackets whenever you are using these ticks then you can use like this so data dot name is the property name we have the property called flag which will give the flag image which is svg here so use this like this and again dollar data dot flag let us display the language that is going to be used here in the object we can have the languages array so if you when open it we have the only single object so we need to use this languages array data dot languages which is array of zeroth item dot name and same way let us look for the currencies and again it is array so just save use same as this one so just copy here instead of languages it should be currencies now we have html we need to render in the countries due so we have already selected the countries due here so the countries element is there now here you mention countries dot we have a method called insert adjacent html so where we can add the html so we need to mention where we would like to add the html in the country's element so i use 
before end and then here we need to use htm save it now let's go and see here there we go so we successfully rendered the country's card on the ui you can see this country flag and united states of america is the name of the country and language is english and currency is united states dollar and you know there are so many properties and if you want to use them and like region population we can print it but as part of demonstration i am just printing only two values here we are just hard coding the country name instead of that if we can make this code reusable that will be very good so let copy this entire code cut it and create one function like get country data and it should be function test it and it should accept one parameter which is country so here in the usa instead of the usa we need to pass this country name so i just remove this double quotes and add the ticks so that you can use the dollar syntax which is very easy that's it now let us make a call to this get re country data get country data and pass usa save it and go and see the browser you can see the same result let us load another country data and let's say this time sweden save it and you see now united states of america and sweden language swedish and currency swedish corona and you can see the two objects now okay same way you can load any you know we can make another call even save it and let's go and see you can see that so this is how we can make the ajax call using xml http request